Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. I hope that this is being encouraging into your family and into your life and that you'll share it with someone. Remember to stay on for the end that we've got a song for you, a worship song that we pray will encourage uh, your life. Now, what does it take to be a person who's well-educated? who's well-versed in the things of uh, knowledge and academics and culture and business and the world. What does it take to do that? Well, we might have all different kinds of opinions about what's necessary to be well-educated, but what's necessary for us to be spiritually, in our faith, educated and strong? You know, we learn a lot through both failures and successes. In fact, I don't think really our spiritual faith is developed until we really experience times of real failures, of real setbacks. There's a verse in the story in 1 Kings about Elijah where Elijah is led by God by this brook. And the Bible says that God even allows the ravens to feed Elijah to sustain his physical strength. He's got a brook to drink from and he's got birds bringing him food. But then the Bible says this very interesting line. It says, and then the brook dried up. It was then that Elijah had to get up and make a move, that God had something else for him. You know, many times it is in the midst of our failures and disappointments in life that God is trying to take that and lead us on to something new, something that he wants to do in our life, something that he wants to show us and develop in our faith. Sometimes when God lets us go through those times of failure in our life, he's testing our faith to see, do we really put our faith and our trust in the gift or is our faith in the giver? Is our faith in the one who has given us all things or have we put our faith and our confidence in what we've been able to acquire, what we've been able to, uh, uh, to provide for ourselves? Is our trust in the gift or in the giver? We learn a lot when we walk through days of failure. The problem is often when we're in those times, we bury our head and we get discouraged and we close our eyes and we do not see all the things that God is trying to teach us. The brook dried up and that required Elijah to make a move and God had bigger and greater things in store for him. And I pray that he has those things in store for you. May God bless you. We'll see you next week. One, two, three. And I praise the one who has overwhelmed my soul and forever changed my days. I lift the name that lifted me from the grave He is great The strength that saves So I sing Hallelujah Hallelujah Forever we shout Your name Hallelujah Hallelujah captive heart free the poor and weak the blessed and the meek together we stand and sing Has won. 
you will speak to us arise in these bones to find new life in the glory of a son who died and rose for everyone is a day when he will come and dwell see Your name. 